welcome this is the energy vibration for the Sun moon and rising Capricorn people I want to say welcome thank you thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for your support please likes and share these videos remember that in the middle of the month you go back and listen to your monthly reading um, I want to say thank you for the support likes and shares please leave the messages and I'm so grateful I read all of them but I'm overwhelmed to re um, reply to all of them so be aware of that that is no um, that I don't want to answer but there's so many messages I get like 200 messages per week honestly so I want to thank you Capricorns um, it has been a journey um, I am going through it you are going through it but we're going to come out on top this week because we have the three of cups governing our reading for this week and the Empress and the Knight of Pentacles so it's going to be good and the eight of pentacles so let's see what we have here the seven of pentacles okay take a look at this we have the knight of cups which is good this week is going to be the week of the lovers okay what is happening with the energies of the week of the lovers we're having also the energy of uh, the week of the lovers and we are also having the energy vibration of uh, the zodiac vibration of the fire energies okay so what's whatsoever is happening in this week is going to be a week of transformation you have the energy of the knight of cups so this is wonderful so um, a lot of you Capricorns are going to be connecting with the energy vibration of love whatever is happening you have the coupling of the week which is the three of cups because so it's going to be a celebration so um, you're going to find out that uh, the energy of the the night of uh, the night of cups is the energy of um, a situation where um, this person is coming to you with love so it could be a child between the ages of 18 and 35 and he's coming at you with love your whole week is a situation of love love is is in this old week okay love is in this old week and um it's gonna be a wonderful week because whatever is happening you're moving away from it okay so i should change it over your week is the week of the knight of cups so it is full of love whatever is happening you're moving away to new grounds and this night is going to be supporting you whatever the situation is this night is going to really support in you so let me look at your week and see what see the energies for this week for you guys can't seems to let's see what your energy vibration is for you guys because it's a lot it's like a green week which is good green is is, is good okay let's see we have seven we have eight we have the M the Empress here, which is good on Tuesday. Tuesday is going to be a good day, and most of the um, heart signs have Tuesday as a good hit day. We have the Nine of Pentacles, which is extremely, extremely good. The Nine of Pentacles, whatever we have, is death and transformation. Um, whatever art break there was, whatever situation that was happening. So we have eight. Um, we have three so number three and number 33 is going to be a vital role uh, number three and number 33 is going to be a vital role in your lives this week so three and 33 okay as we look at ma Monday we have the energy of the seven of Pentacles whatever is happening with the energy of the seven of Pentacles we have inner strength whatever the energy of inner strength is this is a powerful powerful um, situation that is going on so whatever that was there this is really really powerful 
you're finding inner strength to a lot of situation around you and with all of these situation you're understanding what was happening so on Monday whatever the situation is with the seven of Pentacles and I'm going to um, ask I realize that uh, um, I, I am going to ask to see because there are questions that I would like to see I see other things that I want to ask question about um, what is this energy with the seven of Pentacles seven of Pentacles and the inner strength what is the energy um, okay ladies and gentlemen ladies that is it's a balance week for you guys okay Monday you have the seven of Pentacles with inner strength and what that is all about is that on Monday there is a situation about love for some people you're trying to find the inner strength because as if someone come back in your life or is about to come or you need to choose between certain people okay so in the form of love there is a situation that you need to make a decision about people in your lives and for um, a lot of women it's going to be a decision about a connection with someone so it can be someone wants to get married to you this is the guy so here it is and you have to make a decision see you're thinking there you want you're thinking you need to make a decision because there is this man that wants to connect with you that wants to marry you and you have to make this decision that's for some people for some people you have to make a decision it's all about making a decision whatever it is the inner strength you're finding the inner strength to make the, the, the correct decision and this could be over a situation of contract it's as if you have apply for a job and you are getting three and four offers and you need to make a decision which offer is better for you okay always um, you know when we're making this de these decision it's very important that we think but for the latest with a love situation you have to make the decision and I think the decision that you have to make is going to be a very important one because obviously someone wants to marry you and it's that person that you know you can live with the rest of your life it's not that person that ever you know bring you in a situation that you know um, that is gonna that that has uh, um, you know power you in a situation it is someone who you really know you can live the rest of your life and have that confidence and that peace of mind with okay we're moving on to Tuesday which is going to be a very good day it's one of your best day Tuesday and we have the energy of the Empress because your own energy vibration is here whatever it is and for the people who had to make a decision on Monday about the situation you have the, uh, the Empress and the King of Cups whatever the energy of the Empress and the King of Cups is um, for some people it's going to be the person that you're supposed to choose for some people it's going to be a situation where um, you have to make this decision because he wants you to make this decision for some people it's going to be a situation where this man is going to be the provider for you in whatever situation whatever way whatever is happening around you this man is going to be the provider of you so and for some people it's going to be that uh, you're going to connect with the queen the king of cups uh, for some people at your work it can be your boss someone who has um, 
strong feelings for you so there is a lot of scenarios that are happening a lot of scenarios that are happening so be aware of what is happening because the energy with the Empress and the King of Cups is um, someone who's coming for you women Capricorn and you have to make a decision on Monday so whoever this King of Cups is which I can find out but I'm, I'm you know I need to find out another question we have the three of cups of celebration so whatever is happening with you and that king of cups there is a huge celebration that is happening and it's going to be a wonderful celebration so this is going to be extremely good so whatever is happening you're going to realize that it's going to be a wide celebration and the night of oh my gosh you have two nights of cups this it's going to be a week of love for you Capricorns out there you have a celebration with the Knight of Cups now the Knight of Cups is here twice it is your energy vibration reading and he is back in the week with a celebration so whoever this Knight of Cups is is going to be a wonderful positive energies and you're going to see and feel the energies of this Knight of Cups so this Knight of Cups could be a celebration with your children and I'm feeling the celebration with your children but yet still it could be a connection with you at work so this could be extremely positive so whatever the situation is uh, this is going to be extremely positive because as if you connect with this Knight of Cups it can be for some people at work it can be for some people in relationship the, the decision that you had to make it was between um, the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups it can be a connection with your son you know people like that so whatever it is it has to do with connecting with this person and it's gonna be good because it's gonna be a good celebration and the and this can be a Pisces I'm feeling that this one is a scorpion so whoever is out there who has a child that is a scorpion a crave a, a, a cancer or a Pisces but I'm feeling the energy of a scorpion whoever this is is going to be a celebration with this person as we move on and we're looking at Thursday we have the Knight of Pentacles where the Knight of Pentacles is bringing money to you um, and this is good because this Knight of Pentacles which Thursday is going to be a good day so you know most of your days are good Monday is that you really need to make a decision over a relationship where uh, how, how what is gonna happen the Knight of Pentacles come and it's the end of whatever that was affecting your financial flow is the end of whatever that was affecting your financial flow this night is bringing and you see how big and strong he is on the oars he's coming slowly but surely and whatever it is it's going to end whatever that was blocking your financial flow so this is good and um i need to find out something what exactly that was blocking your financial flow yeah a lot of people a lot of ah see yeah yeah I was right people I was right yes this night is bringing it the ten of swords is in reverse because whoever that was blocking your financial situation people was talking about it see the money is coming and there is going to be a balance to your financial situation so again um, my angels and guides are just so working with me exactly what I said is happening so what's the ever that was uh, blocking your financial situation because there was a lot of people a lot of talking a lot of haters you know there was a lot of haters sometimes you realize that you're full um, the things are not flowing around you is that this energy is a lot of people talking a lot of people talking gossiping uh, it can be good but they can also be breaking your financial flow because whatsoever was coming the night of uh, the night of Pentacles and the 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 ten of swords in reverse and whatsoever that was happening was blocking your financial flow and now 
your financial is going to flow because the energy of the fish is money and when this energy turns up is a lot of money is coming in and your financial flow is going to um, you know it's there's going to be a balance to your financial flow whatever is happening so I was right I just wanted to um, ask the other thing that I have uh, um, is the energy of debt and transformation which is the ending of something so it's the ending of the blocks from your financial flow but we have the three of swords so whenever this comes up I'm always thinking it's a transformation of something and it's always something that was um, bad and you're trying to get out but yet still you're having a lot of haters and you're you're, you're you're moving out of something but you're losing something you know it could be losing yourself losing your identity whatever it is and this is like a transformation that you're um, transforming your own energy vibration your identity okay so this is why I said I wanted to um, see what that was saying because I saw it came up and I don't like to see it in a reading but let's see what is happening what is the death and transformation and the three of swords what is happening with the death and transformation and the three of swords okay okay let's see let's see the death and transformation but the three of swords when I ask the question is the three of swords is um, a loss and whatever that was blocking you is now you're going to start seeing clearly and this is for the women out there it could be uh, first I, I would do the energy of the women there was a situation there was art breaks there were people blocking you and now it's as if the blocks are being lifted as if you can see clearly now what is going on and no matter what is happening you're going to stand and be the lady you know like sometimes people do things and they sit and all watch you to see how you're going to react and it's as if you know so you know you just think really are you people so stupid or something like that you know it's as if people think all the time you know I can break your streak and this is all about jealousy hate and jealousy it's more about hate and jealousy because whenever these three energy comes up together it's the block is the cloud and whatever that was blocking you is coming to an end so it's not really the energy of an art break of that sort of a thing it is the energy of whatever that was blocking you whatever that was you know uh, kind of you know blocking you in a sense that you weren't seeing your way whatever because sometimes people can send you energies to uh, make you you know can't see clearly because obviously that is negative energy whenever the moon come up so you have mood swings and depression okay so that is all going to come to an end it's going to come to an end because um, you're going to start knowing what was happening and the, the, the end in the debt and transformation of that is going to come to an end and um, you know uh, the mood swing and that sort of a thing because you know it's amazing if people really understand what other people and their thoughts can do to you it is unbelievable you know so whenever the energy of the moon comes up it is always whenever the energy of the moon comes up it is always a time when um, you sit and is is the psychic is how your angels and guide come to you it's how your angels and guide connect to you okay so whenever that energy comes up especially for a woman a sensitive intuition woman that means 
whatever that was blocking you is going to clear up you know it's whatever that was blocking you is really going to clear up now so um, there is going to become a transformation in that situation of whatever that was blocking you so you know this is a time you know be grateful for whatever happened because you know whatever because it's a very psychic person because um, whenever the moon comes up with whenever these two comes up it's psychic is psychic you're a psychic energy and also um, that uh, um, your spirit guides if, if, if they were blocked if the information were blocked and that sort of a thing you're going to see that it's going to clear up it's going to come to an end okay it's really going to come to an end the next card that we have here on um, on Saturday is this the eight of swords and it, it, the, it brings the wheel of fortune so whatever um, as I said you were been blocked so whatever that was happening this eight of sword is coming is here but yet still it's bringing you a lot of fortune not seeing you're not seeing it's as if things are finally falling in place but you're confused so you're not seeing what the wheel of fortune is bringing you so like things are going to really come good in your life but you're not seeing clearly but it's, it's as if you still think that you're out there in the clouds and you're not seeing clearly but the with the eight of swords is bringing the wheel of fortune so it's bringing you luck but it's as if it's there but you're not knowing and you're not aware of what is happening so on Sunday we have the energy of the Queen of Swords and this energy of the Queen of Swords um, is the energy where um, this Queen of Swords so if you have a legal situation or that sort of a thing um, you are going to win this case whatever the situation is you're going to win this case and why you're going to win is because the wheel of fortune brought you the ten of Pentacles of two four six eight nine of Pentacles so it's bringing you a gift this is wonderful people whatever it is in this week that is happening because you have the three of cups of celebration so there's a huge celebration that is going to happen and this huge celebration um the energy of the queen the queen of swords is always with a lawsuit or conflict or something that must balance because she stand with a sword and this is in a good way because she's bringing you the ten of the nine of pentacles so in this case she is really standing positive and bringing you so if there is a you know a mis a misunderstanding whatever it was the this, this queen of sword is going to stand up and she's going to bring you this ten of pentacles and it's going to be extremely good so um it's you know whatever way you look at it it's going to be a wonderful week for you the only thing that i see on friday it's going to be a transition um the ending and transition of something as i look at the love <laughs> um yeah monday on monday there are uh, a couple of women out there that need to find inner strength you need to find this inner strength to make a decision over Two persons in your life love is here for you Capricorn women even if you're not seeing it clearly love is here in this week there is so much love happening there is the love of the Knight of cups twice um, Monday Monday Tuesday and Wednesday there is so much love connection that is going on sorry whatever is happening there is so much love connection that is going on that this is so positive it's 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 wonderful it is very very positive so the first part of the week Monday until Wednesday there is so much love connection that is going on that it is actually impossible you're not 
really seeing and understanding what is happening around you but they're a powerful love is you know it's as if you're going to be on a new journey so but you 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 have to make this decision on Monday you really really have to make this decision because this man whoever this young man is you know he wants you to make that decision it's really true love and he wants you to make that decision okay so you have to choose whoever this person is in your life you have to choose because it's as if this person wants to marry you you know so the decision is about do you want to marry this person and I am feeling that there is two persons in your life and you need to make a decision okay the energy of the king of cups is here on sorry yeah it's in the middle of the night is here on um, Tuesday together with the Empress so this is another love going on here um, this is a good couple you know the Capricorns with the water sign is a very really good couple Capricorns with water sign are good couples okay so whatever is happening here that's a good relationship whatever you know situation is it it's it's a good relationship and then in the whole week is covered with love it's a three of cups it's a celebration for you in the whole week it's a, it's a huge celebration because on Thursday whatever your financial situation whatever the difficulty of your financial situation you're going to see and feel a balance coming in Friday is a day that a lot of people are going to think yeah what exactly is happening on Friday because the energy of the three of swords and the transformation of that so whatever the heartbreak was there's going to become a transformation and with that transformation whatever whatever um that was blocking you because this is really a block this is one of those energies that is a block whatever that was blocking your psychic energy is going to be awakened okay it's going to be removed there is going to be an ending of whatever that was blocking your old energy vibration whatever that was happening that people were blocking you it's it's going to be broken it's just going to be broken and the clarity is going to come in you know it's as if you feel as if uh, it's not moving it's not moving and this is not moving and you know it's like you're two step further two step backward no because the wheel of fortune is bringing you success so it's going to be actually a good week Friday is the only time that I'm seeing you know but it's gonna be a good week remember the Knights of Cups is here and the King of Cups so it's going to be you know it's your and, and it's the week of the lovers so you know with these energies that are happening it's going to be positive let me see what other energies are here for you the magician oh my god the magician it came out also for another sign okay thank you for that message is there any other messages for the Capricorn the magician came out the wheel of fortune twice oh my gosh okay you Capricorns you have the magician and the wheel of fortune Wow and the wheel of fortune came. oh the sorry <laughs> my glasses um, the ace of cups and the magician and the ace of cups isn't that wonderful this is a beautiful message to leave you guys it's going to be a week of love it's going to be a week where you bring the magic back in your life it's going to be one of those positive positive weeks whatever negativity that was there you're going to cut them down break them down but before we move on there is one more messages from the Ascension card deck and we have 
the amethyst skull, the amethyst skull. And it's, I leave it up here so you can go back and read it because I'm on this for 30 minutes. I explore all the information before I take a decision. I explore all the information before I take a decision. I explore all the information before I take a decision and this is wonderful so it is now 30 minutes so I'm saying to each and every person have a wonderful week and I'll speak to you next week namaste